trying to reconnect my internet connection. Oh, you lost your internet? Yes, they've, they've changed the telegraph pole this morning, and my oh, emails gosh. are bouncing at the moment. So, well, it's going to happen just, before the market open, or I'd say don't trade. Well, I can I can connect my mobile to my laptop to oh okay to access any platform, but I'm just going to reboot the the router at the moment just to see if it helps. I did seem to have a connection, but when I sent an email to you, it seemed to bounce back. I didn't I didn't get anything from you recently. I just saw right. your Skype message. But anyways, I. Did you hear what I said yesterday in the room about Apple? Yes, yes, it was a case of if you want to take it out today, you can. Yes. And then you said, but otherwise, I think it's going higher. Yes, and, but what else did I say? I also said, what else? You mentioned targets. No, I said you're probably going to have to suffer if you don't get out of this today. Yes. Yes, well, I think it's still going higher. The others, well, I'm not so sure about, but I do anticipate them going up until Monday, turning and going up. Well, here's the thing. I mean, again, there's a lot going on right now that could happen in the next 24 hours with the market volatility. So who's to say? We could we could rally, but we're what we're gapping down this morning. We could we could hold, but I, you know, I don't know how many days it takes for that to happen. I guess the only, looking at the price of the option and where it went, it was a good trade to exit it yesterday. That's just right. my two cents. And that, you know, and, and I didn't know exactly where it would go yesterday or halt before it pittered off, but I did warn everybody in the room, you know, to, this is pretty much a good exit here and or the first exit unless you want to suffer. I guess the only thing I just wanted to go over with you real quick here before I start scanning is that I just don't want you to hold every trade. I think Facebook is a good hold. I think Facebook is a great hold, but I don't want you to start getting back into that routine of holding every single trade. It's perfectly okay to get out. It would have been okay to get out of this trade. This trade turned over more than once. This was a good trade. You could have got out of this yesterday. I, and, I, and I know you're, you're waiting on the other ones. They haven't moved yet. I'll look at them later, but the point is that it's like, why suffer in every trade waiting for it to go? Like, Facebook is worth yes, it. Facebook is yes. totally worth, you have the size in that, it looks great, you're still up in it. Y well, only just up. <laughs> only just up. Yeah. Well, you're up in the 160s. The 155s yes, yes, you may not be up in because, yeah, I mean, we I, because of the rally yesterday, which I said too. That one, though, I said, I'm, the point I'm trying to make, and I wanted to just talk to you for two minutes here, is that don't go back into the habit of holding every trade. Facebook is worth the hold. Some are better than others. This was a good call. It was a, it was a great profit up there yesterday. I really think you should have got out of it. Now, you don't have 20 contracts of this. How much do you have of it? One or two, or how much did you have of this? I think I have two of that. Yeah, I think you should have got out of this because you're not going to make a million dollars even if this goes. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it's like, why correct. just take, yes, you should have yes, just, you, you probably were up at least a thousand bucks. Like, I think you should have taken it. No, okay. no, no, nothing like. Well, what were you up? I think. 700? Um, I looked at my platform earlier. I was up, I was up something like $350, I think. And obviously that was the close last night. Well, whatever. I think you should have got out of it. So it's too late now. So, you know, it was just, I, I think you should have gotten out of it because you didn't have a big size in it. You are holding the other one. And I don't want you to get into the habit of holding every trade. And it's very, it's, it's very difficult emotionally to be in three, four, five, six, seven, eight trades or whatever and waiting for them all because they're not all going to go to big targets. And then you... Do you understand what I'm saying? Like it's I, like I, I do. Yes, I do. I, I can I can fully appreciate that. Yes, I do. I do see that. Like there's nothing wrong with taking a profit. Like there wouldn't have been anything wrong with taking a profit in this, even if it would go to 240 in the time I called it. Like there would have been nothing wrong with doing that because Facebook yeah. is going to be the big trade for you when it drops. So there would have been nothing wrong with doing that. And I it's too late now. But I, I don't know where this where this is uh, the option chain is going to open this morning. But I'm telling yeah, you, the next 24 yeah. hours are volatile, and even though, even if the market holds, 
I don't know if we get over the high by Friday, which means that uh, the better exit really was yesterday on this. So I, I don't know. And the chart still looks fine. It's not doing anything that tells me anything different here today. But the market is going to be crazy today and tomorrow, I think, probably tomorrow. And so I think you I think you should have got out of this, but it's too late. So, you know, let's quick, we'll quickly look at Facebook while you're getting set up. Yes. I did see yeah, this this morning, so. and this looks great. I mean, this looks great. It's going to be a big trade for you. I just, I just don't want you to get into a habit of holding every trade again because that is not a good idea. Yes, yeah, I, I agree. I should have been out, out of that for it. Go up two days. Yeah, it's pushing it. Yeah, it's not pushing it, but I'm just saying that it was, it was, it was good enough profit. Whatever you were up, it turned I was over. Up at, I've got my platform open now. It was up for three hundred and fifty three dollars. Okay, so well that was into the close. That wasn't at the high of the option chain. So it yes. was it was over yes. two and and or or no it was over five. I'm sorry, I was looking at the other ones. It was over five. So if you paid like two, you know, that's you know, that's uh, that's a good trade. Yeah, I paid two sixty eight for that a share. Yeah, so it moved over it moved around one over. So that's what I'm saying. Like, right. That's like if you did four trades like that, there'd be nothing wrong with that. You got to learn how to if you really still want to have some big size trades right now at this current placement of where you're at with everything, you've got to pick and choose what those are. It, you should, it yes. cannot be every one. Yes, I agree. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, I realize. I mean, these others, the queues are down 300. Yeah, I'll look at I'll look at all of them. I'll look at all of them later. I don't have the time to do that right now because I didn't no. even scan yet. But th and that's going to take like a half an hour for me to look at everything. And also, I don't want to look at it while I'm talking to you because you'll say something that'll upset me, like pullbacks. But the point is though that you they all aren't going to go. They all necessarily aren't going to go the same time. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. Okay. In the case yes. of Apple, and you didn't do the diamonds. They both went yesterday, and those really were. The first exits and good exits on those two trades yesterday, and you didn't do the diamonds, but those were the exits on those trades. Those two yes. went yesterday. In fact, I would have preferred doing the diamonds to the queues, to be quite honest. But you, you called the diamonds later, and I'd taken the queues. So. I did. I called it later, and yeah. I'm sure you probably thought it was too late, but it wasn't, or I wouldn't have called it. And although I could have called it earlier, I wanted the confirmation. And so I called it when I thought it was good to go. And I know, yes. yeah, so I mean. So yeah. I just don't know what happens here in the next 48 hours with the market. It's going to be sketchy. And so that's that was the point of what I said in the room. You know, you got to today, you know, you're going to yeah. suffer. You're going to suffer. Even if these continued, you're going to suffer. Like suffer, so meaning you could wait would, three, would you, four would days. You hold the, would you hold these others? I mean, I'm down, well, 57% on one and 36% on the other you two. You know the answer to the question. Why are you asking? You know the answer to the question. What's the well, answer to the question? Well, I anticipate them moving up, but I don't, you know, at the moment. No, that has nothing to do with it. It has nothing to do with the chart at all. It's absolutely nothing to do with the chart. You follow your money management. If your money management is you kill the trade at half, if these trades go down today, if the market would fall off a planet and you're down half, then you kill the trade. If your money management is you're holding it, you're in them. And I can tell you right now, you can't change your money management all the time. This is where you have erred in the past. You yes, don't need to ask I, me what I, I think of the charts. It, it doesn't matter because, what I think of the charts, huh? Yes, yes, I have to change it at the moment because I have so much outlay with Facebook. And yes, I have these other four trades that are sitting there. Well, then you're not being consistent. But, then you're not being consistent. Well, no, no, I know I'm not being consistent. I know. And like I say, I am picking and choosing. But as you've just said, you have to pick and choose a little bit. No, you, you cannot pick and choose how you're money managing these for the for the for the risk amount as far as I told you to add to Facebook. I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have said to do that unless oh, I had told yes. you. But I'm yes, saying but you can't pick yes. and choose as far as these go where how your money management is because nine times out of ten then they're gonna go and you're gonna kill them or vice versa. You, you no, you can't do that. You can't now kill three trades if they all get down half today, which I don't know if they're going to be. You can't do that because then you will take three losses. The Apple was up, you didn't get out. 
And then the three, you'll still be up because of the Facebook trade if it's huge. But I still think that that's horrible money management, Philip. That it's just terrible money management. Yeah, you, I, I, I you agree. have to it choose is, a risk amount that you can. You have to choose a risk amount that you can say, "Oh my God, I'm in, I'm in all of these now. This is too much." Well, then you did too many trades, or your risk is too much. And I really think you need to do all the trades. So then you got to cut back your risk, unless I tell you that you can add like on Facebook. You got it. The others I've been risking about between five and six. So they're nowhere near the Facebook trade. Um, so I'll have to see how. But that was special. Out. I told you you could do that. That's that you're yes. up in that. I mean, there's yes. the one fifty fives. I didn't know you did. But anyways, it no. doesn't even matter. I think they're going to work too. But the yeah, point. Yeah, but I didn't add to the one fifty fives. I added to the one sixties. So I have I have more one sixties than one fifty fives. This is one of the reasons why year after year, week after week, day after day, month after month, you are not consistent with your results. You change your mind all the time. At some point, you're going to have to listen to you're, you're going to have to look at the facts and say, "I see what she's saying. This is a I problem." Do. I do. I do see what you're saying. But there are times when you have to look at an individual chart such as Facebook and say, "Right, this is on its own." No, that is only with my approval. That has nothing to do with these other trades that now you were considering killing today. Whether they're up, whether they're down, whether they're whatever, you want to change your management on these trades. You want to kill all of these trades today because they didn't go, because the market's gapping down, because you're worried about losing money in them, and you want to kill them, which is a completely different money management than, the, than you've been doing. Because when I asked you, you said you were going to hold every trade. Then hold it I, on through. I, I did. I do intend doing so. Yes, and if Facebook continues, there's not a problem, really. It, they, they can all tank in those extra trades. It doesn't matter. It's just the Facebook one has to continue. So what are you worried about? <laughs> I am not worried, providing everything does as it should do, and then we'll be very happy. No, I mean, I think you, you didn't manage Apple right. You should have got out yesterday because you shouldn't hold every trade. You were up. It was good enough money for one turnaround. I think that the other Agreed. ones haven't gone yet. I don't think you should change your money management plan. And then the charts look the same to me. There's nothing different in this. And Facebook, you shouldn't change your plan of action from day one. You said you wanted to hold it. You took the size. And anyways, it's too late now anyways, because if you really weren't going to hold it, if you couldn't stomach holding it with the money that you were up, you should have got out two days ago. And these are things you have to decide and determine when you're when you're going to take the trade or when you're doing the ad. You have to make these determinations. Facebook had a great move. I know you said you didn't know what you were up in that day. I know it was at least six or seven grand. It was a good move two days ago. It was early when the drop. It was at five, it, Melissa. It oh, five. five. There we go. You could have yeah. made five grand. Four in one and one in the other. There, you could have been out with five thousand dollars. There would have been yes, nothing wrong with that. That would have been yeah, a great well, trade. Up twelve hundred, yeah. So yes, it's pulled back considerably. Yeah. But you've done this long enough now that you should know what you can stomach and what you can't. I can't get. I can't make that decision for the, you. The, the problem, yes, I can. I can stomach it. It's the problem is, is anticipating when the yes we do have pullbacks, but. Yesterday was quite a strong pullback on no, Facebook. No, it wasn't. Yes. No, it wasn't. The Dow well, made was, brand new all-time highs. Say, you, it was within the price of the uh, option chain. How much? I mean, I could have got out of it yesterday and actually got it back in again. And no, wrong. The There's no re-entry in this here. And don't add to the trade this morning. Don't I do that. No, I'm not adding to it. And the fact that you even think yesterday was a strong pullback, uh, you, you you know, you need to put, you know, your glasses no, on. Look I at the know, chart. I, I know what you're saying. On relationship to the chart, it's not much. Your One conviction day is cannot be based on your P&L. It has to be based on what's happening. And if you lose conviction from one day like yesterday, then you are lying when you say you can stomach no, holding something. No, I haven't lost. I haven't lost conviction. Well, then I don't know why you said yesterday was a big pullback. The options Wait. chains are volatile. That's why you can make a crap load of money really quickly because they move. Just like yesterday that moved against you, guess what? If today this breaks 160 again, it'll be up more than five grand because it's really going to look like it's headed to the number. I'm telling you, you, you know this. It's like, why do I have to just say it over and over and over again? Yes. Okay, you can't you. you can't stomach these. I, you want to play them, but then you can't stomach the volatility in them. So then you really can't do them. I, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's just rather annoying, isn't it? When you have so but much that's money, what it and is. like I say, you could have taken it out and then taken the money again, taken it again. But that's what it if is. If you were so convinced it was going down. If you're so convinced it's going down, what? If you were so convinced it was going down. Mm -hmm. But you see, 
No, it might work. It'll get the gun out of the thing. It will probably turn. Well, it will continue down with me not in it, wouldn't it? I don't, I don't understand so, what you're saying. It's well, not well, about your just, luck. You're, 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 it's just your it, money take, management. Money. You've had plenty of good luck with trades that have gone in your favor. Then you've had crappy money management, which I think Apple you should have got out of. Like, I mean, if you have two contracts of this, I don't know what you're, what you think you're gonna hold on to this to make what. Even if you would have held on to it, what's the most you would have made? Fifteen hundred dollars. You don't have a lot of it. There's well, nothing I wrong with happy, chunking you know. it out. There's nothing wrong with chunking it, chunking it, chucking it. I'm it, not. I'm not. I, no, I don't. I don't. I don't mind a thousand dollars. That would be very nice. But... I know, but why risk losing six hundred? Yes. When you were up four or five hundred to make a thousand, do you see what I'm saying? It's like yes, this I makes do. sense because you're like, okay, I'm up five, but I can make twenty or more. I love the chart. It looks good. Don't look at the option chain. The chart is fine. You got plenty of time left. So do you see the di see where you do you see the difference? It's like, do you understand? It's like. You yes, understand what I'm trying to I say? Do. It's it, you can't hold every trade. Take the money when you're up, when you're up and um, specifically where you're at right now. Only right. hold the ones or add to the ones when I tell you it's okay. Will do. Okay. But don't change your money management with these. It, at some point, you're gonna have to wake up and say, okay, I'm today is day one. I'm gonna manage all my trades the same, unless Melissa tells me this is an extra specially good one, which I did okay. with Facebook. But if you, if I don't. Then you manage them all exactly the same, no additions, no changes in money management plan. Get out when you're up. If it runs over 100% over, which Apple did yesterday, then you get out. You have to you have to say, okay, today is the first day I'm doing this right. I mean, you're worried yes. today about the trades that are down, like the cues. Whether they work or not, though, you put the trade on, you put the risk in, you did what you did. And you got to live with it now, and that's why you can't change your mind halfway through the trade, because because it, because it's a nightmare. And that's why you're going to look at the chart. You 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 want to see something in the chart that's going to convince you to kill it, because you want to kill it now because it didn't go right away. No, but, but no, then if I it gaps up I, tomorrow, you'll say, oh, I knew I shouldn't have killed it, and then no, <laughs> you know. No, I don't. I do believe they're going higher. I mean, I believe they're going higher into next week, but. That remains to be seen. I could be wrong, so you've got to look up, you know, look at every aspect, haven't you? That's not how you should be managing the money. That's the well, point. I agree. <laughs> the money, yes, is separate to the chart. Yes. I do. I agree. All right. Yes. Okay, thank you. All right. Well, good luck today, and be careful if you're having uh, issues with your computer. Yes. Will do. All right, talk Thank to you me. very much. Okay, bye-bye.